Malaysian protesters unfurl a 50-meter Palestinian flag and attempted to break a police barricade, blocking access to the U.S. Embassy in Kuala Lumpur on Friday, as anger grew over Washington's unequivocal support of Israel's military operations in Gaza. So far, some 3,500 people have been killed in Gaza in an Israeli military siege that has cut water to 2.3 million people and seen bombs rain down on civilian areas. The Israeli action in response to the October 7 attack by Hamas militants that killed at least one. 400 Israelis, mostly civilians, is spurring outrage across the Muslim world. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge. Our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. That includes Malaysia, which has long supported the Palestinian cause and hosted Hamas leaders. Over 1,000 people rallied in Kuala Lumpur after Friday press to demand the U.S. take responsibility for enabling Israel's aggression and occupation of Palestine. Protesters clad in kofia, the distinctive Palestinian scarf, and waving the Palestinian flag marched towards the U.S. embassy and briefly scuffled with police. What we are protesting here today is the colonization of Palestine. Backed by America and Western powers, activist Hishamadan Rice said, adding that the crisis in Gaza was not a crisis of Muslims against Jews or Israeli against Hamas. As a protester declared the USD, Great Satan America. Ex-Premier Mohata Mohammed railed at what he said were Western double standards. We cannot accept Americans, Israelis, the British and Europeans are fighting for human rights and calling themselves civilized. He said outside the embassy. Mohata, who has regularly courted controversy with his anti-Semitic diatribes, said a blanket Western backing for Israel's version of events, including this week's deadly hospital bombing that left hundreds dead, was flawed. Palestinians blamed Israel for the explosion. Israel said it was caused by a failed rocket launch by Palestinian militants. U.S. President Joe Biden has come under heavy criticism from the Muslim world after a Wednesday visit to Tel Aviv to show support for Israel and the wartime administration of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Biden in a Thursday televised address later urged Americans to spend billions of dollars more to help Israel fight Hamas. He is expected to ask Congress to approve an additional 14 billion US dollars for critical partner Israel. According to a Reuters report, it's a smart investment that's going to pay dividends for American security for generations, Biden reportedly said. On Friday, Malaysia's Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim said Palestinians deserve recognition of their right to nationhood with East Jerusalem as their capital city. Malaysia stressed that international principles and laws must be upheld and condemned the hypocrisy of the international community towards the violation of human rights and assault on the people of Palestine. Anwar said after attending an ASEAN in Gulf Nations conference in Riyadh. Anwar said Malaysia also urged for a humanitarian corridor to be immediately mobilized to facilitate the entry of food and medical aid to Gaza. Islamist Party PS, which won the largest share of seats in parliament on the back of a surge in support from the country's Malay Muslim majority, urged Muslim nations to pursue unification of Muslims and avoid being misled into normalizing ties with Israel. Muslims must unite in solidarity with Palestine in confronting the Jews, who are, in truth, displaying cowardice, PS President Abdul Hadi Awang said in his policy speech at his party's annual General Assembly on Friday.